This example is kind of a motivational example to think a little bit about the meaning of taking the expected value of a function of x rather than just the expected value of x. So here's the example. Let the continuous random variable x be uniformly distributed between 0 and 1 with probability density function f sub x of x equals 1 0 is less than x is less than 1. This is what in the past we've called the uniform 0, 1 distribution. Instead of finding the expected value of x, we're this time going to think a little bit about finding the expected value of the square root of x. Two different approaches will be taken. First of all, let's take a Monte Carlo simulation approach. Here is some R code where the variable nrep is set to 100 thousand replications. Then what we do is we take the vector x and assign it to a hundred thousand uniform zero ones. In other words, a hundred thousand realizations of this particular random variable. Finally, the last thing we do is we take the square root of all 100,000 of those and then to mimic the expected value, we then take the mean of those 100,000 square roots. And when you do that, you get 0.6674. And I ran it a second time, third time, fourth time, and then a fifth time. Notice that these numbers are all looking a whole lot like 2 thirds. And so there is some suspicion here that maybe the expected value of the square root of x is equal to two-thirds. Now let's look at, at it a different way because you can't depend on Monte Carlo simulation. It just is a uh, an indicator of what might be right. The PDF of y equals g of x of the square root of x is f sub y of y is equal to 2y for y values between 0 and 1. This is from an earlier example from the CDF section where we were looking at transformations of random variables. This was an actually an example that was worked out. So it turns out the expected value of y and the expected value of the square root of x are the same thing. And we know how to find the expected value of y. That's just the integral over the support of y, which is from 0 to 1, of y times its probability density function dy. And of course this integral turns out to be 2y squared. When you integrate that you get 2 thirds y cubed. When you plug in 1 you get 2 thirds. When you plug in 0 you get 0. So you wind up with 2 thirds which is exactly what we had guessed might happen from the Monte Carlo simulation example earlier.